Hey y'all, it's Betsy with Happily Ever After Etc. And welcome back to another garden video. So today we have a few things in this box to plant. They are iris. So these iris, as you can see, um, have seen better days. And they are pretty, but they are also pretty small and pretty beat up. Now, there are a lot of different ways to buy iris, especially ones like this that are more specialty colors. These are pretty pink. Um, and while one of the best ways is to buy from your local store or nursery, ours doesn't always have a great iris selection. There are also a lot of iris sellers, um, shops online that specifically sell iris bulbs. Um, but those can be, you know, as much as $10, $20 uh, for a single bulb, let alone if you want several. Another really good way is to get them from people who are dividing them, either in your local community. A lot of times they are listed for a lot less on a, like Facebook Marketplace or something, or like I did on uh, a Iris Facebook group. Now I've bought lots of Iris off Facebook before and had varying results. You're buying from people who are dividing their Iris, so it is a little bit of a risk. Oftentimes there are um, reviews so you can kind of get a good idea of what they're going to look like. These were supposed to be large rhizomes. Uh, this is not what I would call a large rhizome and this is one of the better ones in the box. I got eight but I paid $20 for them for eight rhizomes so while it's not the best you live you learn hopefully they will grow and if even one grows it will eventually multiply and I will have more. So I am going to try not to throw them on the ground I'm going to plant them in two sets of four, and you want to plant them in kind of a group, a fan group, shallow holes with the rhizome at the top. Dog, poor Biddy, she's very upset she's not out here with me. Uh, and the roots facing down shallowly. You want to almost well see the top of that rhizome at the top. So we're going to plant them back in here, and we will see how they do next year. See the stray cat right in here? That's Mama Cat. She likes to come hang out with me while I garden. And she is literally right where we're working. I'm trying to gain her trust so she will come see me. She's really close. She's probably not gonna like when I turn my auger on though. I'll see, maybe I can just use the shovel since these are pretty shallow. go ahead and put four here. I put a lot of foxgloves and I have lilies in here. So I don't want to plant them everywhere, but a nice little group would be nice. Take a shallow hole here. in right just a couple inches below the surface making sure to cover all the roots let's see all right so now like I said we're gonna put them in a little fan See how these do. For the next couple months.
water them in, and then we won't water them again necessarily until we see them growing next season. Um, but I do have drip throughout this bed, so it's over here and here. It's a little far away. Won't worry too much about it right now. If I see they need more water next season, I can always run an emitter over here. But iris are pretty drought tolerant once they're established, so by next season, they may not need specific water. Woo! Little extra water for them. You ever hurt anybody? Almost hurt me. I really need to come up, tie my wisteria up. All right. Mama cat has left, so I'm gonna come back in here. I know y'all are watching my butt, but it's just the angle. All right. Got three. didn't even need the auger. Alright, they look like absolutely nothing right now, but keep you updated. Hopefully next spring they will come up. Now iris are pretty hardy. Even ones that have been abused like these tend to do okay. I once bought a whole bag of them, left them on my driveway, forgot about them for a whole year, and they've still come up and bloomed for me every season since. My best friend's mom, who loves iris, forgot a bag in her garage for like two years and they still did fine. So while you do want to get them in the ground, ideally in fall or spring when it's uh, cool like now, uh, they'll be okay most of the time. <laughs> Honestly, they don't look any worse than anything else in the garden right now. Can you say lavender hates it here? Thought I had a winter, but it, it lived for most of the season and it could not make it through July. Mama Cat just took off. Bye, Mama Cat. Oh, there she is. She's coming back. Cut some dinner. Honestly, while it's not my favorite thing, uh, the mouse population that had gone up living near the woods since my lily cat passed has gone vastly down since mommy cat has started living on the porch. And she's meowing because she didn't catch it for her. She caught it. Oh, pretty cutie patootie. I guess dinner and irises are done, so bye y'all. <laughs>